eight now. The Radio Waymo Breakfast. The Academy Cinema's Pick of the Week with John Henderson. Regardez devant vous. J'ai des choses importantes pour vous. What kind of important documents? They're about the aerial defenses of the United States in Russia are the keys for scrambling them at the appropriate moment. Golly gosh, this sounds important, doesn't it? Sounds like a uh, an important worldwide event in the past, historic event. Uh, John Henderson is looking at the movie called uh, Farewell, and he's on the line this morning. Morning, John. Hey, well, I won't be saying farewell. I'll be saying good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yep, the movie is, uh, is you may have picked from the uh, heavy violins. It's a Russian movie. Was oh, it? Oh, I didn't. Yeah. I, I was wondering what that what that language was at, at, at the beginning. Yep, 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 yep. We're in nineteen eighties Russia, where things are not what they seem. Uh, you've got uh, the Cold War in full swing. Ronald Reagan's just been elected to power in the U.S. and he's keen to get himself a bunch of commies, put them out. So that's what this movie's about. This movie is about Ronald Reagan's government and how shocked they are to discover that the Russians know a heck of a lot more about all of their um, secrets than they thought they did. So this is real Cold War stuff. Yeah, and this is actually uh, a real story, so it's another of those um, moments in history that have, have been blasted into the big screen. I didn't even really know about it, so um, I found it absolutely fascinating. And, we, we, one... and when you say Russia, it's not a Russian film, though, is it? No, this is a Hollywood... Yeah, it's, a, it's right. a, I'd say it's a mid-budget Hollywood movie yeah. that's been made documenting what actually went down at the time. It's absolutely brilliant. It was just so uh, so left field what actually happened. Uh, what happened was you, you had a, a Russian lieutenant colonel fairly high up in the KGB who was just very um, disillusioned with the way the government was heading and he wanted a better world for his teenage son to grow into. Mm. So he started leaking information uh, through the French to the, um, the Americans. And he did it for no monetary gain and he did it so absolutely completely, like he was just giving them everything, that no one could work out where the leak was coming from for over two years. Yeah. And the sort of stuff he was giving them, uh, giving the French, he gave the French names of 47 uh, double agents that were working in the French government who then got expelled. Uh, he gave the US names of spies over there. Uh, it was all pretty heavy stuff. Yeah, crikey. So it's real um, intrigue, espionage, spy-type yeah, yeah. drama. Absolutely. Well, what, what actually ended up happening, once this all came to light in the mid-'80s, um, Reagan cleaned out the spies from his government and then proudly announced the Star Wars campaign, yeah. which was all about blowing up nuclear missiles from space with lasers and ray guns. Uh, now, that got actually canned in the 90s, but I think they brought it out of mothballs again last year, I think, talking about reinventing it. Yeah, I think you're right. But it, the whole thing is just it's incredible. And uh, so you felt you felt um, at the end of it that you got a um, a pretty good understanding of the historic event itself. Well, you got a snapshot of the event itself, and also uh, an an idea of the ideologies driving the guys that were in amongst it. Mm. Uh, this rushing KGB lieutenant colonel, he, he just wanted a better life for his kid. It was mm. as simple as that. Mm. He wasn't after the money or the fame or the glory. In fact, you know, he obviously pays for it with his life because they sniff him out. Yeah, and he's gone. Uh, yeah. Sad, but at the same time, gripping film. Brilliant. Um, actually, on at the Rialto this week, so even though we're plugging Academy, Academy has said, look, uh, there's a good film comes along and it's not being shown at the Academy. Talk about it. So, yeah, this is good one of on those. It. Yeah. And there's some, there's some great um, actors, I think, that people um, will, of course, recognise in there. William Defoe being one of them. Yep. He, he's there for the Americans. It is mainly in, in Russian and French. Mm. Um, so there's not a lot of English going on, but, of course, there are subtitles. Excellent. But yeah, great movie, Farewell, on at the moment. What would you give it out of five? Oh, as far as uh, actual factuals, Russian spy thriller, it's a four out of five. It's four. really well shot, very clever. A four out of five from Mr John Henderson. Thanks very much. We'll talk to you next time. Good See you all. This operation doesn't stand a chance. No chance at all. 
следили, все будут на месте. 